Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, we're going to jump straight into a mission. We've got a bunch of our mechs back. The Atlas is still hasn't been touched yet. But I want to jump straight into a mission today. Let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to do a cover, covering fire mission. Now, it's for uh, Jade Falcon against Clan Wolf. But the, the salvage is right. 625. It's really juicy. Uh, it's an attack and defend. Um, but we've got eight mechs, or sorry, we've got seven mechs, which I think should be more than enough to do this. Plus, we've got our our arrow mech which is awesome so I think we'll be fine we're gonna go this right route we're gonna get a uh, nine rep for uh, Jade Falcon we're gonna drop clan wolf by a little bit but that's fine we're still within a good safety zone here and we're gonna accept this and then we're gonna leave let's bring the Zeus down the dire wolf can come down Hellion let's bring the second Lance down here I'm gonna leave workhorse workhorse out today Mastodon is gonna be running you let's bring in the main lance pilots now um, Dallas goofy and duck duck will run uh, our AMS mech um, why do I want to run the AMS no this is a tricky one uh, what's this night gear again it's the ATM that's going to be goofy dire wolf here you know what let's do this I'm giving the dire wolf to Gundal um, the uh, one with all the lasers in it and we're gonna take our main guy uh, and we'll put him on the arrow gear right now I think that's what we'll do let's deploy this and get this mission done all right here we go looks like we got some help here Okay, they got four lances. Should be no problem. That's our extraction point? All right. You're going to assist in defending the base, are you? Like you did last time? Well, we had turrets last time that didn't do shit. All right, what do we got with us here? A marauder, catapult, scorpion, a carrier and Shamash, really? Street Color M15s. Alright, it's close range only. Okay, so we should easily be able to arrow the base. Like I think this is like plenty range. <laughs> we can hit across the map or with the arrow system, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's just rain some uh, arrow destruction. not low short sits oh it's the same map we were on last time for attack and destroy <laughs> sorry attack and defend same thing attack and destroy attack and defend I'm all right we need to um, get ourselves into positions here or we can control the fire lanes. One lane is here, the other one's here, really. Waiting for order. Do that. Let's get up to here. Okay. Where are you? Oh, you're stuck on a building. Because of course you are. Where, what else would you be doing? Alright. <clears throat> yep, yeah, park it over there. So we'll see how we're doing after the first little bit here. We may stay and kill everybody. Or we may not. I don't know. The thing that we got this time that we didn't have last time is the two dashies. Got plenty of uh, hardcore damage potential. Okay. Got 
a couple of damaged sponges. Let's get them up here. It's bizarre, like I'm going first because we traded out the max. I have no idea how much damage we're doing. That's a small building, eh? I feel weird about uh, targeting it from that range. But we're doing just fine with the damage. One more and that building should be gone. Alright, well. We're going to adjust the loadout on this guy. Oh, exterminator. Okay. I think we got exterminator parts. Balak, okay. You gonna shoot or are you just gonna stand there? He's probably gonna shoot. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, son. You don't go show up in a fight and not do anything. Let's see what you got. So with three reinforce or sorry, they've got Two support lances plus the main lance plus turrets probably. So that's 15 and four turrets. Then they're going to have another 15 if we decide to wait. Oh, the wolf attack. Yes. Yeah. So we would run out of ammo, I think, by the time those, la by the time those last three waves started to hit, we'd be out of ammo. We were last time. I don't think we're equipped for a full battle like this, so... We'll make sure the buildings go down, kill as much as we can, take as much salvage as we can. I want to try and claim at least two mechs off this if we can, so we can sell them. Balak's still trying to figure out what to do. Um, but yeah, if we can get those, because it's going to, like I said, it's going to cost, it's going to cost four million to put the, the Clan XL into the Atlas, which I think I want to do. I'm also toying around with the idea of um, got it. oh, we got some more more targets. Toying around with the idea of leaving the um, we do have more targets. What's this guy? Timberwolf. Of uh, leaving the arrow systems on. Um, oof, really. Let's go against this guy. Um, leaving the arrow systems on the night gear and then getting another arrow and putting it on the atlas and then taking out the archer so we would only have we'd have no archers but we'd have arrows another timber wolf nice we'd have the uh two mechs we'd have three arrows and either a thumper or a broadside for long range firepower I'm not sure if that's going to be better than the LRM boats. Well, at least you ain't shooting me. Galahad. We might get a, we might get a timber wolf out of this. That would be nice. That's, these are 75 tons, right? Yeah. I'd take that for sure. Drop an archer and put a t put a timber wolf into the lineup. Got eyes on enemies surrounding their base. Looks like you're going to have to shoot your way through. You, oh, you think? Because, you know, we've been fighting them already. Just saying. Right here. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, what do we got on this guy? 39%. Just take a pot shot. Okay, streaks hit, nice. Nice. I have no idea who you targeted, but nice. I think it was this guy. 
Looks like it doesn't doesn't have any chevrons of evasion that I can see. Okay, let's make sure we're in the center of everybody. We're going to move over here. Let's follow up maybe with this guy, 32%. 6, 19, and the guy in the back. I just wanted to check the guy at the back, really. Let's fire on this guy. Yeah, a few points. It's fine. Yeah, this AMS mech... I mean, we could turn this, rather than using the archer, we could turn the AMS mech right now into the into another archer. Put the LRMs on the arms. Or we could turn it into, if we can get some more ATMs, we can turn it into an ATM build. Black Knight, okay. Got my fingers crossed. So far there's no artillery, so that's kind of nice. Another Balak is going to take forever to figure out what to do. I may waste a turn maybe on Goofy and target the ground over here with a uh, barrage and see if we can kill both of these guys. Just so that we can have them off the field. Now these Timberwolves, I don't know. They don't look like they're running um, missiles. So they could just be like heavy PPCs or heavy lasers on each arm. Find out soon enough though. <clears throat> but yeah, the Atlas, I mean, depending on how, like I hate the fact that we've got to put the the arrow and the thing and the uh, thumper in the torso. We've only got enough room for like well, if we put a Clan XL engine in, we'll have enough room for four tons of ammo plus case. And then if we're going to run AMS in the arms, the ammo is going to have to be in the arms. I don't know. It's a tricky situation, that Atlas. It's like, this is the way where the hard points are. If it was like, you know, ballistic and, and missile on each torso, then you could just choose what you wanted. But because it's too ballistic on one side and too... Uh, and... Uh, two missile on the other side. It's a really difficult, uh, really difficult choice. I mean, I guess we could go like Thumper and LRM-40 and then some heavy energy weapons in the arms, maybe. I don't know. It seems, I, I don't know, it kind of seems like a waste of a 100-ton mech to, like, use it for a long-range platform. It just has the weight to be able to carry so much though, right? Yup, yeah, thanks for showing up. Another Timberwolf. Ooh, maybe we can get two Timberwolves. Pull both of the archers out of the lineup and take two Timberwolves? I mean, the option is if we do that, then we go more of a balanced approach. So rather than going like an LRM-70, we can have two Timberwolves running with an LRM-40 and then some heavier energy weapons. Ow. Well, that Nova C. Yeah, I don't say things like that. You have order? That's just a bad move all around. Moving just get up here. Save your barrage. They've moved up pretty quick, which concerns me, but it's fine. It's fine, we'll deal with them. This guy looks like he's got missiles. I guess the one bonus is this they don't really seem to have the heavy artillery like they had 
like we've been facing before. Let's uh, Warlord this guy. Give us a better chance to hit and target this guy. Damn it. Ah, well. No love on that strike. Yeah, I can see. Let's leave that off for now. Fire the rest. Oh, one of the big ones hit. That's nice. Got a tag on. Beautiful. Yeah. Not quite unstable yet, though. At least we're getting some help this time. No idea why our turrets didn't fire last time. We probably would have succeeded on this attack and or attack and defend mission if um, the turrets were firing. Oh Jesus! This guy really wants to get in here, eh? Shit! Damn, son. This guy's mean business. Alright, who do we have left? We got Goofy. No, we don't have Goofy. He's already gone. Dallas and Gundal have already gone. So that's the end of the turn. Oh, we're on next phase. Durr. 24. These guys are fast. Yeah, we got two specialty mechs, the arrow mech and the AMS mech, which really aren't packing a lot of firepower. You know, the Atlas could run a, an AC, a Rack 5, or a pair of Rack 2s in the torso. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just really not convinced. Like, I mean, we could switch it to the we we could switch it to AMS slash direct like long range direct fire, like I said, and go with the uh, go with ultra the uh, not ultra twos but uh, rack twos, a pair of LRM twenties, and AMS. But then we're still jamming ammo into the arms. We'd have to like spread out the ammo in each arm to be half rack and half um, LRM. So if we lost one arm, we're not we're not losing ammo for both weapons. I don't know. Or or stick it stick a ton each in the leg. I I don't know. So they're going on 23. It's probably the yeah, it's the Balax figures. Um, we got Hellion on 21, Duck on 21, and Mastodon on 21. So Hellion, if we rotate her this way, she could hammer this guy hard, and then we can use Mastodon. This guy's going on 21 as well. I was going to say we could use Mastodon on this guy over here, hopefully make him unstable and knock his ass over, but it's unlikely. Um, no, that guy didn't do anything. Okay, he's moving up. Yeah, you're not trashing anything with missiles, guys. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We could run a pair of advanced AMSs. Or, sorry, ad our AMS Mark IIs, I mean, in the Atlas. Throw them on overload all the time. I don't know. Yeah. This 
guy is not in a position where we want him to be. Would you mind removing him? Let's not turn the barrage on because I don't think we need to get hit by that. Let's fire everything else though. Okay, massive destabilization. Guy over there is going on 21. I don't think we can knock his ass over. That's not a bad side shot right there. And I think we'll fire everything on him. God, AMS hit so many of them. How's he doing though? Lost a lot of armor. We may had a bit of penetration on him. Yeah, he's going now. He's gonna fortify. Yeah. But this guy here. Definitely is not going to. Let's hammer him. Lost evasive. Let's move it into here for now. Not too worried about grouping up at this moment. Uh, like I said, they don't really have the artillery they've had in past missions, so... Kind of good there. God damn it! Good thing our buildings have got a lot of hit points. Yeah, I think we need to continue this. Because we're not going to be able to, uh, we're not going to be able to, um, get over there to knock them down any other way. It's the only way we can do that. This guy, I bet you, is regretting on going on 25. Let's see if we can pull his legs off. They don't have that much armor on them, do they? I don't know who that was. Oh, this guy. Grand Summoner, maybe? Locust 2C? Alright, we gotta take those choppers out. This is slowing everything down, man. Well, once we start killing them, too, it'll move a lot faster. Care Bear. Oh, wonderful. Reporting. Have no doubt it will be done. All right. Let's let's do this. And he's going down. Beautiful. Hate having to use so many mechs just to pull one mech down, but we'll take advantage of it. Don't shoot that guy. Shoot the guy over here. You asshole. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Not much armor left in that location. Hey, Commander, I'm taking 
Yeah, well, if we didn't have an asshole on our team, we wouldn't we wouldn't be taking any hits. So we got Dallas and Gundal left. I'm here. For an alpha strike. Big one missed again. Copy that. Can't believe the big one missed again. Make sure this guy's gone. That's actually let's you know what? Let's go this route. Engaging multiple targets. Wow. You miss with the big ones, huh? Maybe I take the mech back off you. Maybe I should. Is that vehicle back there? We got Duck on 23. Hellion and Infiltrator on 22 as well as Mastodon. I want to know. They're going on 25. Wow. That guy's like, wow. Talk about balls, man. Dude. That's like a suicide move. Prowler. Two Grand Summoners? Yeah, and a Prowler. Yes, Commander. Okay, we need to move out of the way so we can shoot this guy in the back. That's a kill. That is a kill. Not the way I wanted it, but we needed him gone. This guy's a goofy death death stick right here. This guy's taking... Oh, he's going to go next. Oh, maybe it's one of the choppers. Because we seem to be choked up here a little bit. It's probably one of the choppers going next. So we got one building down. We're going to target the next one with the arrows. We've probably got at least six more turns of arrow fired before those buildings all come down, unfortunately. But it is what it is. going to try and choose the one that I can do the most splash damage against the other two with. So it might be the one at the right on the back if we can actually move the camera. Well, this thing's deciding what to do. Rawr. Wow. Okay, that chopper just came out of nowhere and shot the building. There's the Balak. All right. Yeah, you know your job. Okay, uh, this one is taken a little bit. Let's just center it. Engaging target. Okay. Warning. Armor low. Yep. All right, what are you doing?
Yeah. Ooh, well around fifteen, really? Alex the B, there we go. Let's hope for the best. Oof, not quite enough. Oh, never mind. Nice job. That's going to definitely stop us having to wait forever. I felt like going outside and going for a walk around the block while I was waiting for that ballot to move. It took forever. It's like, I'll just go for a walk around the block. Somebody call me when it's done. All right. This guy's being a pain in the ass. Nicely done. Hopefully that'll make him uh, fortify himself next turn. He may still fire, but we'll see. Well, somebody's got some ATMs. Timberwolf, eh? I was just thinking that... Uh, Oh, well, that's not us. That's not us. I don't care. Um, I was just thinking that uh, the Atlas, you know, if we do decide to go the direct fire route, if we do decide to go a pair of uh, Ultra 2s, if we can get them in the, in the torso, is the other thing is we put in ATMs on the other side. If we have, like, I know the ATMs take up a lot of space. Ah, God, I don't know. I'm still up in the air. If we had more ammo for the Rack 20 or the Rack 10, I would throw it in there and use that, use it as that, and I would give it to, uh, I would give it to Gundal, and he can go back to a ballistic build. He seems to be the best with a ballistic build. Put like an Ultra 10 in, or a, a, um, a Rack 10 in there, supported by an ATM, like an, AT, an improved ATM 12 or something, and then a bunch of lasers in the arms. Some AMS. It really goes to show you the strength of the Omnimax, being able to put whatever you want wherever you want them. It really, really helps out. You can't use the arm mounts, unfortunately, but... Come on, kill that chopper, then I don't have to do it. What's this guy? Is this a Chikeda or is this Fafnir? Wax in your inner ear. Care Bear. Nova, that's the one with the Gauss rifle. It's another Nova. Ryokin. Okay. Reporting. Do do do. Do 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 do. Goodbye. Was it worth it? I'm under heavy fire. Was it worth it, buddy? Was it worth running right in the middle of us? I don't know. I I probably have to say no on that one. This fucking Balak's got to go. Who do we got left? We got Dallas and Gundal left. I was really hoping one of our guys was going to shoot it. Where are you? Nah, we can't say no to that.
162 damage with the heavy. Here it comes. See ya. Yeah, I'm, I'm up in the air about this dashy. I gotta say that uh, heavy Gauss rifle. I mean, we played around with it in, in the last series, but it wasn't really amazing. And now with that turret mount and, and the right pilot, it's like severely devastating. That guy's gonna keep, he's gonna fire, is he? Shit. Well, all right. It's a dashy against him now. Is that the Prowler? something yeah it is this is going to be a multi-target with the with uh, Gundal Christ Gundal you're slower than the ground vehicles this guy's initiatives toast next turn so we're not going to finish him off right now look at that Christ it's just so good. When well, we're not facing like 20 vehicles that are tossing uh, missiles at us. The AMS works so well. Oh, come on. You guys, there's like five of you and you can't even kill the fucking Prowler? I should just reserve Gundal to see if anybody else any on our side can actually kill that guy. Ah... Nah, maybe I should. What are these guys going? 19. We've all gone. Wonderful. Good to go. How far back can you get over here? Okay, well, we'll do our best here. Uh Wait, A is this guy. We want to put Oh, that's better on B. Those are all better on B. That's out of range. Okay, well He's going to go again if we don't if we don't actually hit him. Let's try this. Beautiful. Alright, one hit. Not bad. Okay, they're outside of the inner circle. Black Knight's the main threat right now. So we're going to wheel uh, Dallas over to deal with him. we got five turns left before reinforcements arrive, which isn't too bad. This would definitely be different at a five skull rating. Four is not bad. We'd have to have two long range attack mechs at five skulls to wipe their base out within half the amount of turns. Commander. And then push and go after um, Uh, yep. go to get out like, but push enough to get enough um, kills to make it worthwhile let's wreck this fucking guy pardon my French alright not bad could be better I remember running those those mad cats or the timber wolves I like to call them mad cats they're fast Right, so they can't pack a lot of weaponry, but I mean, I remember running those in the last series. Commander. I think, Duck. Um, let's get into here. We're going to decide who we're going after here. Leaving the lasers off. So it's either going to be this guy. That would be a kill. Nope, nope. Where is he? Oh, come on. He's over here. Prowler? 
35. Black Knight is 95 with direct fire. We can only shoot one though. Let's drop it on this guy, see if we can get the kill. Gotta be careful because that guy's, uh, he overheats quickly because of the AMS. So keep applying damage. Here they come. Engaging target. Warning. Armor low. Yep. Okay, Black Knight's up for the, for the death, uh, boat this turn. We gotta see if we can get the Black Knight and the Prowler. Ready for orders. Where are you? Oh yeah. Uh, firing at all. So I don't know sure if you noticed there. I changed the uh, medium lasers on this thing. I took off the ERs and put the um, diverse uh, laser. Um, sorry, medium laser diverse optics plus. So the range is 24 meters shorter. Damage is the same, but the heat is less. So I threw those on a slightly shorter range, but with the lower heat, it's going to make it more manageable to be able to fire those when I get a chance to do direct fire at close range. And 24 meters really wasn't enough for me to leave the ERs in. So they fire a 396, which isn't bad. Uh, I'm going to switch these guys to standard. I'm going to multi-target this. We're going to go after you and you. B is taking the sixes and A is taking everything else. Here it comes. The target is confirmed. At least with the extra heat. This heat gauge isn't going up though. I was hoping that it would be... Oh yeah, okay, there we go. A deterrent for him shooting. Is that enough? Not enough. That's a critical hit. It is! Amazing! Okay, this Timberwolf, it's not moving up, so I, I'm not that worried about it, you know? It is the next target after this uh, Black Knight dies. Currently, because it's within good range. These guys are just whatever. If you want to wait for reserves, you go ahead, but we're going to be gone. And I'm already, I'm kind of going to be happy with the uh, salvage we get. We're going to get at least two Timberwolf, maybe three Timberwolf parts. Depending on how well we do against the Black Knight, we might get, take some Black Knight parts. But there's also other components that we can take that I think are going to be good, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident already. We got five turns left too, so we got time to take down some of these other guys. Like maybe if we take down the Fafnir, I know we got one Fafnir part. We might be able to get another one or two more. That would be really nice. Ow. Systems holding. As long as he's only hitting you with one, it's all right. Arctic Fox. You got missiles? You do. Uh, I guess my advanced AMS jammed. Or not the advanced AMS, the uh, the Mark II AMS probably jammed. You really got to be careful. When you're in overload mode, that heat can go up real fast. All right, Dallas. Black Knight's down. Let's bring a heavy gun to bear on this side. All right, so who are we looking at here? 97% in the Timberwolf. 57 Locust, 85 on the Arctic Fox. That could be a kill if we hit him. 
That's the Nova. I don't know if he's full strength or not. He's got the Gauss rifle. Although Timberwolf, he's not really moving, so let's do an offensive push and see if we can pull a leg. Here it comes. No, no leg, but I don't know where that 103 went to. I have no idea. It was looked like it was a fully... Oh, I forgot about the Care Bear. I think... I'm pretty sure that guy's a... It's the... Uh, he's a melee mech. So we gotta make sure we kill him. Alright, Gundal. Let's wheel it back this way. I wonder if we should try and do a headshot in that Care Bear. I mean, we can't do it right now, but when he gets close enough... Gonna try it here, though. Uh, we hit the CT. Oh well. Let's see if we can take his head clean off. Nope. Had to take a shot at it though. Not even a head hit. I think we need to switch that back to Infiltrator. He, this guy does have a better chance to hit, but for some reason, Infiltrator just seems to be doing better with it. I don't know. I think he needs to have a mech with a uh, with an auto cannon on it. Although he did pretty good with the Orion, I have to say. When he was in the, piloting the Orion, he did pretty well with it. So maybe we just drop him the Orion again with the dual PPCs and the du e dual ER large lasers. He seemed to be doing hitting really well with that. In which case, who are we going to give the uh, Atlas to? I mean, if we pull the Rack 5 off of the Orion, the problem then is... Um, a shot. Problem then is it goes in the torso of the Atlas. It's not going to have the same chance to hit. The Orion has the benefit of having the uh, the arm mount and the recoil for the Rack 5. That's a huge benefit. Although the Atlas, we should be able to put arm mounts in both sides. So maybe that's a substitute for the Orion. Maybe we put PPCs in each arm, large ER large lasers in each arm, switch out the Orion build, and then maybe go with an ATM in the broadside or something. That's a possibility. It'll have both direct firepower and then indirect firepower as well. Okay, that Black Knight's pretty much done. Timberwolf's almost done. So it's really the Care Bear. I don't know how much armor it's got. Whether it's at full strength or partial strength. Ow! Oh! Asshole. Standing by. Yeah, we're jammed here. Not much I can really do about it. Not go with Hydra. Let's get rid of that guy. Vehicle down. Right here. It's so annoying that I can't just click to move. There we go. Location confirmed. All right, AMS I'm Jan, beautiful. Yeah. 
guy didn't move far enough. His problem. I got him. Yeah, well, like I said, he didn't want to move. He didn't want to move far enough. He just kind of like, you know. Okay, can I get to move where I want to move now, please? Why can't I move to where I want to go? What is up? I wish I knew what the deal is with this. All right. In the interest of the speed, might as well become unstable. What the hell? All right, we got Goofy here. Gonna switch out the ATMs to the longer range versions. Maybe target the Timberwolf. Who's this guy? Thunderbolt. All right. Yes, Commander. Standing in flames, huh? All right, just pot shot this guy. If he moves anywhere, he's going to get catch on fire, so he's better off just staying there. They don't have the indirect fire capability of really threatening me at this point anyway, so... They got, what, an LRM-20 and a handful of ATMs, maybe? Alright, Goofy. Gonna switch it to standard ammo. Um, let's just finish this guy up. Little overkill, but whatever. Tango down. Whatever. That's ridiculous. My heat sink can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. Yeah. You're gonna wish you hadn't done that. Just saying. Okay, another building gone. Okay, am I taking instability when I fire the arrows? It would make sense because they are pretty heavy artillery. Who do we got left? Uh, Dallas Gundal. That's all. There's the Fafnir. Where's that Care Bear? Right there. Right there! There's the Care Bear! What if this Timberwolf is like stuck somewhere where he can't move? He's running. Of course. Oh, no, he's not. He just decided it was he didn't need to move until this point in time. Alright, what phase are we on? 19. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. We should be able to drop this Timberwolf this turn. Um, that's going to be lasers. I think Dallas with the Gauss Rifles might take out one of these smaller guys. Maybe the Nova with the Gauss Rifle. 
and we can focus on this Care Bear or the Fafnir the next turn. But if we can pull this guy out and this guy out, that's going to like soften this side up considerably. We've got four more turns before reinforcements arrive. Got to switch our AMS back on too. Okay. If we can strip this guy out for sure. Like he doesn't have very much left in the CT. It's definitely a drop for sure. Ninety-nine on the Care Bear. Two plasma rifles and an MRM forty. He's got half the internal structure, melee two hundred and sixty-two. Do we go for the I I no, I think we need to do this. Better chance to hit his torso. Let's go after that. Okay, three hits. I don't know if we hit the torso or not. Let's just get out of his direct line of sight. Don't think if we click on him it'll tell us. Come on. Oh, yeah. I think the big one hit there. Oh, we got a CT hit. Okay. Not bad. There you go. Piss him off. Ready for order. Target destroyed. All right. There goes one lance. I can't be bothered waiting for the move, for the walk to come back. We'll become more stable next turn. All right. Nova's at is full armor. What when was I thinking that was the lower armor? Arctic Fox is what I was thinking. Okay. <clears throat> You're welcome for the help. Okay, they got two buildings left. Maybe none after this turn? No, we got one of them. Yeah, it's always low. One more to go. All right, well, Gundel and Dallas are going to be back on the Care Bear next turn. Um, Hellion, I don't know, maybe we all go against the Care Bear. Hellion could rotate over Hammer the Care Bear. Mastodon could hammer the Care Bear. Okay, he ball worked. One of these Grand Summoners has got really low armor. Maybe that's a Mastodon strike. I don't know. You know what? Arctic Cheater's a Mastodon strike, I think. This guy here. Or the Locust. One of the two. Because they're pushing too much. They got to go. And I don't want to waste uh, my big hammers against those guys. So maybe Mastodon, Goofy can take those two out maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's 
time to do a little bit of sharing with this Care Bear. It's a Share Bear. Let's see what we can do against the torso. Well, his Merm 20 has gone. Or Merm 40, that is. That was probably a pen, that torso. I bet you any money. Either that or it was a CT pen. Dallas should be able to follow up on that. Ow. Who's that shooting? Prowler? Oh, and Orion. Let's get away from the flames here. Nine, eh? Twenty three in the Nova. Ooh, yeah, this hit should take that torso apart. Let's hammer it with everything. Firing on target. Not enough to take the torso, eh? Reporting critical hit. Good to go. Coordinates received. Okay, AMS is overloaded again. Just drop one Lerm 20 on this Care Bear. It might get lucky hit the torso. It's only got a handful left. Okay, there it goes. He was in a bad spot. That was my fault. Let's cool off. Yeah, I jumped right into that. Alright, well we didn't get these two guys like I said we were going to get, but at least this guy is severely crippled now. MRAM 20 gone. His uh, One of his plasma cannons is gone. We should be able to apply a CT hit with uh, Dallas, I think. And then maybe we got Gundal to smoke one of these two guys. Yep, see ya. That's what you get for just sitting there. So we've taken out what? Five, eight, nine? Why the Ryokin? Look at this guy. He even looks like a bear. Alright. I think we just shoot him. Okay, solid connection on that one. Beautiful. You know what you gotta do. Wow, really low chances to hit. Let's just go this way and hope we get a CT hit. Firing it all. There you go. Okay, there goes one of the 100 tonners. So 
So the backup for these two light mechs and this medium is gone now. These two guys have got a nice fire lane down here, but there's nothing they can really shoot at. The base piece over here that was right here is gone now. Although they could shoot at this one. Alright. Yeah, okay. Oh, Ryken doesn't have much uh, health. Good to know. Okay, round eight. They're going on 26. You're welcome. All right. Here we go, guys. This should end it. Engaging target. Yeah, thank you. Forget it, just brace. Okay, we're clear to go. I don't think they can kill those three buildings by the time we're going to go set to go out. Okay, let's move over here. Full vigilance. Ryakin's up for a slaughter. We're going to put the barrage on so we can heat up the Fafnir. Here it comes. Another one for the kill board. You got that right. Yeah, you know, I, I, I seriously consider about, like, just trying to pull legs and stuff off those mechs. But, because I mean, we're, we're, we just lost a bunch of, we just lost IATMs and everything off that mech, right? Here's my, here's my point. We've got, how many other guys on the board? We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more guys, plus probably another guy I haven't seen over here. So 10 more guys hanging around. we got mechs coming in. Well, they don't have, they're not coming in actually. So, I mean, I could s try and spend my turns trying to pull leg off, legs off while i got six or seven other guys shooting at me. Or I could just get the job done, you know? And that's the way I'm seeing it right now, is just getting the job done. It's really the best thing to do. Grand Summoner is... I think one of these guys back here has got weak armor. Oh, that guy probably, because it looks like we penetrated. Ow! Everybody on the Fafnir, please. Losing lots of armor. Yeah, I saw that. Don't know if I can hold out much longer. I underestimated the Fafnir, and that's my that's my fault. Warlord, it please confirm. Wow, six damage, eh? He's absorbing a lot. Here it comes. Let's see if you can make this Fafnir unstable, please. All right, here it comes. Roger. Yeah, he's got a lot of stability, that guy. Standing by. Confirmed. 
I know it's not moving to the out point, but we gotta hammer this guy. Man, the heavy with a higher percentage chance to hit misses more than the than the uh, regulars with less chance to hit. Don't know about that. Okay, Ryan's got light armor. So does a prowler. Yeah, it's the only way to go. Here it comes. Nice hits. Tag on. Beautiful. He's pretty fast, too. Someone's going on 27. He's going on 20. We got Duck and Hellion going before him and Infiltrator. We're going to drop a couple of arrows on him, I think. Commander. Racks down. All right. How is it only indirect now? Whatever, man. Whatever. All right, hammering them. Let's leave this one off. All out of long -range missiles. Yeah, we got exposed structure now too, which is awesome. Probably his left torso or arm. Okay, who's next? Duck is next, right? Waiting for orders. His leg. Let's work on making him unstable. Alright, getting some use out of these jump jets. Just being able to jump over the fire really helps out. Okay, we got Goofy going on 20. Let's hope this guy doesn't move before Goofy. But he probably will. Okay, they got these guys to go still first. He's on 23. This guy's on 22. This guy's already gone. I don't know about those guys. He walked around the corner right into the face of all the guys sitting here. Guess I was lucky that time. Yeah. Does this guy have an Ultra 10?
Shot his own guy in the back. Beautiful. There we go. Now, I don't know if the arrows are better indirect or direct, but let's see what we get on this guy. 13%. No knockdown. Trying to calculate something. Trying to calculate something. It's either going to be a knockdown or it's going to be uh, no, it's going to be a nothing. Not even unstable, eh? Eighty-four. Okay, might be able to pull the leg. He's lost two missiles. Might be able to sweep the leg, depending on what he does. Goofy's going on 20. But I think we should take this guy out. Okay, he's stabilizing. Beautiful. Uh, Let's go that route. We can kill the Arctic Fox. Clear him out of our way. Okay. Yeah, don't do anything, guys. Don't worry about it. We got it covered. Hope you all die. It's nice to be able to get rid of those buildings early. Should be able to finish the rest of these guys up. They got what? Four, seven, eight guys left? Yes, come in. Why can't we OP this guy? Come on. There you are. You beautiful baby, you. I'll make them dead. I want to make sure we hit. We're going to fire with everything. There goes the leg. Bombast laser, eh? Let's get down in the trees. Get some defense. Oh man, you took the heavy head hit. He's got four points left in the head. Did you get shot in the back by something? Probably. Orion. 59, eh? 86 against the Grand Summoner B. Uh, this is the guy... Yeah, because he's got like no armor. Let's hammer this guy. Roger that. Beautiful. That one's gone. Get your ass behind here. You're staying indirect for the rest of the battle, buddy.
Okay, we might be able to pull the leg off that Fafnir. The second leg, that is. It's got so much damage reduction, though. It's so hard, though, eh? Yeah, we're going to finish this battle up, so I might as well just move over here. Just better to do this. Engaging target. See ya. Warning. Armor low. Order. See if we can torso this guy. He doesn't seem terrified. Oop, forgot to turn the AMS on. Hellion, that Nova's all yours. No chance for a flank attack, huh? Mm, I think we gotta t see if we can leg this guy. Another engine crit. Still not panicking. Sure you want to do that? You sure you want to do that? What do you need? Uh, Oh god, tough choice. All weapons are gone. Yeah. Guy's trying to hunt me down. All right, let's hammer this guy with HE. Yes, Commander. Scored a critical hit. Location acknowledged. Okay. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Order. Moving to position. That's the Orion back there. All right, well. Let's see if we can get lucky on this. Let's warlord it though. Target acquired. What do we get? Both legs. Okay. Target neutralized. We shredded him, but whatever. Ooh. Finally somebody's come to play. I told you, man. I told you you didn't want to be there. You didn't listen to me though. Prowler's dead, hopefully. Just want to make sure we get the hit on this. Down. They got three guys left. 
Let's clean this up and go home, people. Okay, Orion going next. Phase 25. Thunderbolt's going on 25? I guess so. No point in moving. No point in moving. Okay, this guy's full strength. These two should easily be able to take him out. This guy's dead this turn for sure. Yeah, he's pretty much... Oh, you didn't even move. Last rounds. I'm out of LRM. Oh, you got Hydra left. Yes, Commander. The target is confirmed. Standing there wasn't going to save you, buddy. comes the LRM-70. And we got three left. Hellion should be able to just shred that guy. Man, that guy's got a heavy loadout. Let's see if he's got it as heavy loaded as you do. Probably not. Good luck surviving this. One left. Now, let's see if Gundal can take this guy's head off. Come on, just ping him. That's all I want you to do is ping him. Thank you. I'm here. Uh. Yes, Commander. Let's just do this. Okay, good hits. Guard a critical hit. Location confirmed. Get a bit of height on him. You got it. All right. Really? Come on. See if we can take his head off. That's what we're here for. Putting this back on. Firing. Nope. Got a tag on him though. It's good. This guy's really fast. It won't matter. I don't think he's surviving this turn anyway. Showing minor damage. Waiting for order. Uh, 
Might as well drop some Hydra on him. Here it comes. Plus 65 heat. Enjoy that, buddy. Just to see. Yeah, whatever. Shouldn't move too far forward. I don't know if they've got long range turrets over there. Reporting. Ooh, that's a direct fire shot. He's going down. I want him to knock him over. There's a knockdown. Try for a headshot. It's rare enough as it is, but we'll see if we can get one. We all get to go again before this guy next turn, so he's pretty much done. So I'm thinking if we for salvage, two Fafnir parts, three um, Timberwolf parts, and then whatever else. Off the top of my head, we'll see what happens. Okay, see if we can get a headshot on him. You got it. Whatever. The Whatever. There it is, folks. Let's go home. Alright, so not bad. 260,000. That's not going to cover our repairs. We almost lost a head. Direwolf got, what, five kills? Hellion got four. Four kills for the night gear. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good overall. Alright, let's see what we got. Exterminator we can take. Orion 2C is there. Timberwolf E and H. Oh god, we could take two Timberwolves. Fafnir, there's only one part. I think we do two Timberwolves. Unless there's something amazing down here that we have to have. ATM 9 isn't bad because we don't have any. Um, IATM. What else do we got? Medium X Pulse. Ultra 5. DNI Cockpit. Regular XL engines. Enhanced imagery and exchanger. We've already got two of these still sitting around. Our control system heat. Uh, heat bank. Nova CEWS. That's really good possibility. Double range finders, sight and gunnery. I'm still thinking that's the two Timberwolves. Society sensors, TSM. Vehicular DNI, Vibro Claws, Weapon Mouse. We still got two of these kicking around. They're going to go in the Atlas, though. Uh, Proof ATM HE, which we've already got. Got extended range. Regular ATM HE, we've got. Alright, I think it's going to be the two Timberwolves. I can't think of what else to do here. Let's do that. That's pretty good. Alright, there they are. I've got an extra Timberwolf part. Beautiful. Which we already had one of. That's kind of nice. Grand Summoner part. Locust. Ryokin part. Two ER larges. That's nice. Large heavy laser. Okay, that we got three of those now. Clan case heat bank, which is nice. Lower Omnipod arms. Beautiful. That's nice. Range sensors. AMS ammo. We're starting to run low on that. Um, MRM and Cinder. Yeah, so overall that wasn't too bad. Alright, let's have a look here. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. 
Okay, let's bring these Timberwolves forward. And I think we're going to we're going to sell the two Grand Summoners. Don't think we need those now, but let's have a look really quick. Um, I don't know. Maybe we keep them. Uh, kind of up up in the air about this right now. All right, so there's Timberwolf E. It's ready, that guy. Thank you. Timberwolf H. It's ready, this guy. We got a Ryokin now. Let's ready that and see what it is see what it's all about. That mech you wanted is back online. All right, what else? Got enough parts for another Grand Summoner. Let's do that. that mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. We just got four mechs off one mission. These two are assembled already. My God. Look at that. Okay, Timberwolf H. Let's see what we got in this guy. He's got an Artemis fire control system. So what is this guy built for, mostly? LRM-20s. Large improved heavies. Oh, or just large heavy, that is. Repair? 428,000? We've got 23 tons for weapons, which isn't a whole lot. Let's confirm it. What if it's time to start running another lance? Okay, Timberwolf E. See what we got here. ATM9 clan, beautiful, and a damaged one, so it's two ATM9s. They take up four spaces each, eh? Um, ER large we get. Light tag. Yeah, let's confirm this. You know, I think we're, this, this is going to be a good choice, a pair of these guys. Right. It's going to give us some mobility back here. So we fit the rock, and he's got a Nova CEWS. Although I think it's probably destroyed. Yeah, his whole head's gone. Um, large improved heavies, two of them. Client Exchanger, Heat Bank, improved ATM. Okay, let's confirm this. I'm thinking we get rid of the Atlas, guys. I think we get more functionality out of these guys. I'll let you know when that's done. Grand Summoner. Let's refit this guy, see what we got. This guy can go into storage, I think. But we're going to repair it anyway. ATM 9, ATM 6, beautiful. He had two LRMs as well. All right, let's repair this guy. Some more ammo. We made out like a bandit on this one. Let's confirm this. Love so, I hate to say this, guys. I'm thinking the Atlas goes away. It's a weird thing to say, but... I don't know. I mean, if we want to be taking higher skull missions, though, we need to keep it. I don't know, man. Three point seven mil. And then if we change out the uh endo steel and put regular clan armor on. Or a spall well if we go laser build. Okay. 
Could go spa liner instead though. Our heat dissipating. That's a lot more though, eh? Oh. I mean, this guy could be... We could turn this guy into the AMS slash long-range firepower mech. So we could pull the PP... Like, if we take the Orion, the weapon systems off of the Orion and put them in here. So the two ER PPCs, which would ha now have... Well, I think they already have weapon mounts, but we could put weapon mounts in here. Two ER PPCs, two large lasers for su superior accuracy. Go AMS and seat in the center torso with the ammo here and here. Yeah, I think we could do that. All right, let me think about it between episodes. That's 4.3 bill, uh, throw 4.3 million. It might as well be a billion for Christ's sake. And then once the this Grand Summoner is fixed, we could sell that. We pull the Archer, both Archers, out of the lineup. So that's three guys gone. That would give us, these two would move up here. That would give us, what, 11 mechs. Almost three full lances. Maybe we leave one archer in and take one out. Or we turn the Grand Summoner into the archers and we move both archers. These things are easier to fix, remember. That's one of the reasons. But I don't know if it's got the ability weight-wise to be able to do it, though. I think the core is bigger than what I put in these two. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to think about it between episodes, guys. We've got a lot of repairs to do. We're going to have to make our financial reports. I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do there. We've got 12 days. I think we can put together enough mechs to be able to pull off one of the lower level missions to get some more sea bills to be able to make our financial report. We need like about one and a half mil. Let me think about it. I could sell some cores too. We got a bunch of cores kicking around. 270 or higher. We don't need them all. We could just sell a few of those. Because most of our guys are Omnimex, we don't really need to worry about all of the cores that we have. Anyway, I'm going to think about it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's going to be a couple of days before all those mechs are back up and running and before I can load them out. It's going to take a while to get all that done. So let me know what you think the loadout should be. Also the Atlas. I'm still questioning what to do with that. I, re I really like any comments from anybody of what the loadouts could be. Uh, I really think it needs to be the upgraded Orion. I don't think turning it into an artillery AMS mech is anywhere near what should be done with it. But if we go with the... Uh, we could go AMS long range fire support, a couple PPCs, a couple ER large lasers, then some AMS, and then whatever else we could fit in it. Um, but I'll have to think about that. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And please do comment. I got, I, I don't know. Figure, just let me, let me think, let me know what you think about the loadouts. All right, and until next time, we'll see you later.